In this video we will teach you 5 very amazing tricks for counting number of triangles, which is a very common question that we face very often as mental ability test or mathematical reasoning test in several public exams. It is seen that the examiners will provide you with a figure like this one, and ask you to find out how many triangles are in this figure within a very short time range. Now, if you start counting triangle one by one, it would take a lot of time, and even if you have done counting you wouldn't be sure whether the result is right or wrong, because there is a high chance of getting the number incorrect after counting them one by one since there is so many triangles in just one figure, so, we are going to teach you how you can count the correct number of triangles very fast and more easily by applying 5 very simple and easy tricks. Trick number 1. There is a triangle, and we draw a horizontal line over here. If you are shown this figure and asked how many triangles are in this figure, all of you will be able to say that there are two triangles, this one is triangle number 1, and this one is triangle number 2. There are no more triangles here and this one has four corners so it is not a triangle, so, just by counting you can easily say that this figure has two triangles, but, the easy trick to find the number of triangles in this case is to find out the number of horizontal lines. The number of horizontal lines in the figure will be the number of triangles, here, in this triangle there are two horizontal lines, this one, and this one. Since there are two horizontal lines we can easily say that there are two triangles here, simple right? Let's see another figure so it will be more clear, how many triangles are there in this figure? Let's start counting the number of horizontal lines in this triangle first, so, here we have four horizontal lines, thus the number of triangles in this figure will be also four. Let's see one more figure, how many triangles are in this figure? Simple. Just count the number of horizontal lines present in this triangle first. So, here we have six horizontal lines, thus the number of triangles in this figure will be also six. So, that was the very first trick. That was too easy, right? Now, let's proceed to trick number two, which is another exciting one. So, there is a triangle, and we draw a line like this one over here. How many triangles are created here due to this line? Some of you might say that there are two triangles, this one, and this one, but that's wrong. There are three. This one, this one, and this is the third one, so, there are three triangles, there is an easy trick to find out these three triangles, first, serially number each of the internal triangles, this is triangle 1, this is triangle 2, now, add 1 and 2, so, we get 3, that simply means, total number of triangles here is 3. Let's see another one, how many triangles are there in this figure? The trick is same, first, serially number each of the internal triangles, this is triangle 1, this is triangle 2, this is triangle 3, and this is 4, now, add 1, 2, 3, and 4, so, we get 10, that simply means, total number of triangles here is 10. There is one more trick to find this same thing when you face this format of problem. Instead of adding the numbers serially one after another, just take the last digit over here. So we have 4, now take the immediate next number after the last digit. So, the immediate next number after this last digit 4, is 5. Now multiply 4 and 5, we get 20, and then divide by 2. So, we get 10, that simply means, total number of triangles here is 10. Very easy right? Now you will be able to solve this format of problem very easily. Let's practice one more, how many triangles are there in this figure? The trick is same, first, serially number each of the internal triangles, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, now, take the last digit over here, so we have the last digit 7, now take the immediate next number after the last digit, so, the immediate next number after this last digit 7, is 8, now multiply 7 and 8, we get 56, and then divide by 2, so, we get 28, that simply means, total number of triangles here is 28, again, if you added 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 7 serially, you would get the same result which is 28. So, that was the second trick. Now, the third trick is simply a combination of trick number 1 and 2, let's see how. So, there is a triangle, 
and we draw some lines like these, and some lines like this ones over here inside this triangle, how many triangles are there in this figure now? Let's how to get this number easily, first, think of just these lines and forget these horizontal ones, using our trick number 2 we can easily put numbers serially on these internal triangles 1, 2, 3, and 4, now take the last digit over here, so we have 4, then, take the immediate next number after the last digit, so, the immediate next number after this last digit 4, is 5, now multiply 4 and 5, we get 20, and then divide by 2, so, we get 10, that simply means, total number of triangles here due to these lines is 10. Now again, ignore these lines, and let's consider just these horizontal lines are present here, using our trick number 1, let's start counting the number of horizontal lines in this triangle first, so, here we have 3 horizontal lines, thus the number of triangles in this figure created due to these 3 horizontal lines will be also 3. So, we have 10, and 3, now simply just multiply 10 and 3, we get 30, thus, 30 is the exact number of triangles in this figure created due to all these lines, so, we have easily calculated that there are 30 triangles in this figure. Now let's see another practice example and this trick will be crystal clear. So, here is another figure, can you find out how many triangles are on this figure? Simple as the previous one, first, consider only these lines and ignore these horizontal ones, now, put numbers serially on these internal triangles 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, now take the last digit over here, so we have 5, then, take the immediate next number after the last digit, so, the immediate next number after this last digit 5, is 6, now multiply 5 and 6, we get 30, and then divide by 2, so, we get 15, that simply means, total number of triangles here due to these lines is 15. Now again, ignore these lines, and let's consider just these horizontal lines are present here, let's start counting the number of horizontal lines in this triangle first, so, here we have 4 horizontal lines, thus the number of triangles in this figure created due to these 4 horizontal lines will be also 4. So, we have 15, and 4, now simply just multiply 15 and 4, we get 60, thus, 60 is the exact number of triangles in this figure created due to all these lines, so, we have easily calculated that there are 60 triangles in this figure. So, we have easily learned the trick number 3 also. Now let's hop into trick number 4, this is an important and exciting trick, and this type of problem is very common in exams also. The problem is like this, we have a triangle, and inside this triangle there is another triangle that touches each side of this outer triangle, if this type of figure is given to you then you have to keep a simple trick in mind, first, let's see how many triangles are here, this is 1, this is 2, 3, and 4, so, there are 4 internal triangles, and there is this big outer triangle also, thus, if there is a triangle like this one that touches each side of an outer triangle, then 4 internal triangles will be formed inside the outer triangle, and there is also the outer triangle, so, total 5 triangles will be formed. So, we have to remember that in this format, for one triangle inside this outer triangle, 4 internal triangles will be formed. If we just remember this line, then we have already learned this trick and we can solve the coming problems easily, let's see by practicing an example. So, we have a triangle, this is the outer triangle, inside this triangle there is another triangle, inside this first inside triangle, there is another triangle, and inside this second inside triangle, there is another triangle. Now, how many triangles are in this figure in total? Let's find out, first we have this large outer triangle, this triangle is always counted as 1, so this outer triangle is 1. Now, for the inside triangles, for the first inside triangle there will be 4, for the second inside triangle there will be 4, and for the third inside triangle there will also be 4 inner triangles, tri because we have seen earlier that for one triangle inside this outer triangle, 4 internal triangles will be formed. So, 
Adding them we get a total of 13 triangles are present in this figure. We found out so easily that there are 13 triangles in the figure without wasting time in counting. Simple right? Now, pause this video and practice this yourself and find out how many triangles are in this figure. Let me give you a hint. There is one outer triangle and four inside triangles in this figure. You can surely solve this problem following the technique we just showed you. Let me know the answer in comments below. Okay, in this types of figures we commonly see another format of questions also. We will also teach another type of problem within trick number 4 now. So, here we have the previous figure, and some lines are drawn here like this. This is another very common type of figure. So, how many triangles are in this figure? Students make very common mistakes while solving this problem. So listen carefully. First, ignore these three lines. Now we have an outer triangle and one triangle inside it just like the other problems we learnt in this trick. So, we will have four internal triangles and one outer triangle, which gives us five triangles in this figure. Now, except these five triangles, let's see how many other triangles were formed by drawing these three lines inside this figure. Look here, due to this line, extra two triangles were formed. Similarly, extra two triangles were formed here due to this line. And also another two triangles were formed here due to this line. Keep in mind that you will not be considering this triangle again, because this triangles has been already taken into account when we counted the five triangles here. Now we are finding out how many other triangles are there except these five triangles. So, we have two extra triangles here, two extra triangles here, and two extra triangles here which gives us six extra triangles except these five triangles that we have already counted before. Now, by adding five and six we get eleven triangles, so, there are total eleven triangles in this figure. This was too easy and exciting to solve right? Let's see another example just like this one so it will be more clear. Now, if you are given this figure and asked to find out how many triangles are in this figure, can't you find out? Of course you can, let's see how you will find out, first, ignore these lines, and consider the one outer triangle and two inside triangles, so, we will have 4, plus 4, equal to 8 internal triangles and one outer triangle, which gives us 9 triangles in this figure. Now, except these 9 triangles let's find out how many extra triangles are formed here due to these lines. So, we have two extra triangles here two extra triangles here, and two extra triangles here, which gives us six extra triangles. Again, on the inside also we have two extra triangles here, two extra triangles here, and two extra triangles here, which gives us six more extra triangles. Now adding 9, plus 6, plus 6, we get a total of 21, so, there are a total of 21 triangles in this figure. Hope you learned this trick easily. Now. Let's hop into the last and another important trick, which is our trick number 5. Using this trick number 5, we will be able to easily count number of triangles from this type of figures. Suppose, you are given this first figure and asked to find out how many triangles are in this figure. Now, obviously we can start counting in the traditional way. Start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9 internal triangles and 1 outer triangle, so, there are 10 triangles right? No, there are more, here we have number 11, here we have number 12, and, here we have triangle number 13, so, there are 13 triangles in this first figure, then we could also count and find number of triangles from the second figure but that would be also time consuming like we have seen with this first figure. These two figures are the most common ones that we get in exams from this types. Now, obviously there is a very easy and simple trick to find number of triangles in this types of figure. We just need to remember that we can find out number of triangles in this figure by a simple formula, which is 2 not square minus 5. We just need to remember this one formula. Now, what is on over here? n is actually the number of divisions. If we take any of the three sides of this outer triangle and find out how many times this one side has been divided, that is, the number of divisions of any one side of this outer triangle is the value of n. For example, 
In this first figure, let's take this side of the outer triangle. This side of the triangle has been divided into three divisions, here, here, and here. So, the value of n is 3. Now putting this value of n equal to 3 in our formula we get, 2, into 3 square, minus 5, which gives us 18 minus 5, equals to 13. So, we have 13 total triangles in this figure. We can take any of the three sides of this outer triangle for finding value of n, because the number of divisions will be same on all sides. We just need to remember this formula. Similarly, we can find out number of triangles from this second figure using our formula. Here, the value of n is 4, because the number of divisions at any one side of the outer triangle here is 4. So, putting this value of n equal to 4 in our formula we get, 2, into 4 square, minus 5, which gives us 32 minus 5, equals to 27. So, we have 27 total triangles in this figure, simply found out using this formula. So, using very simple and easy 5 trick we learnt counting number of triangles in this video. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Academic Gain Tutorials on YouTube. Thank you.